in the 21st century, as the general of the Jesuits has pointed out, um, Adolfo de Nicolas, we must be aware of all that the world has to offer, and we must be free and motivated to explore how Christian faith interacts, as it does on a daily basis, with faiths the world over. What comparative theology does is it seeks to understand why this premise is so very, very important. Some would consider it central to the work of a Catholic theologian. And then see where do the similarities lie, where do the differences lie. And one of the great truths that we can discern through comparative theology is that one religion does not equal another. That there will be very distinct cultural perspectives and very distinct theological claims and that in order to understand what it means to be a Christian it's, it's really quite elevating to understand how other people think and to be able to engage people in dialogue not necessarily for the purpose of conversion but to engage people in dialogue from a place of friendship, from a place of sincere desire to understand how these different faiths operate, how these different faiths speak to their adherents. And this is uh, one of the great insights of Thomas Aquinas, is that it's through diversity that we can appreciate the fullness of the world. And we're fortunate here at LMU to be participating in a whole range of interfaith dialogues through the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. And many on our faculty are very involved with the Hindu Catholic dialogue, with the Buddhist Catholic dialogue, with various conversations with the Muslim community, with the Jewish community, as well as intra-faith dialogue, say for instance with evangelicals. And this allows friendships to develop and allows understanding to be deepened. And again, it's wonderful when we can find common ground. It's wonderful when we can agree that, you know, we need to think very carefully about going into war. We need to think very carefully about respect for people that aren't like ourselves. And, and most faiths will be quite explicit in developing tolerance to other traditions, developing a, a climate for mutual sharing. And that's, that's great, and at the same time, there will be some non-negotiables uh, theologically where premises of one faith do not agree with premises of another faith, and people can learn in peace to agree to disagree.